Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to use the leftover of an onion and to turn it in a wonderful green onion as you see over here uh, it started to spruce so all this uh, pot actually is with uh, leftovers, stems of the onions uh, pretty much you know after I got the onion and clean it up I get the stems and uh, uh, or the bottom of them and I soak them on water for about two hours just to make sure that I incre increase the humidity they do dehydrate very well so you know the roots uh, start to wake up um, it's it's the same process you know that they use in the fields etc they they use from the seeds uh, you can plant them uh, in uh, end of February or mid March and then they'll be in my you're gonna see a lot of uh, you know onions come out uh, you can do it inside you know just keep them in the water and you're gonna see they'll start spur and you're gonna have green onions all over the place uh, as you see over here this is one so this is a stamp you see how it start growing and the roots that are developing so everything is wonderfully going well I'm just gonna put it back just to make sure that it um, what I use to this pot actually uh, different from other people I instead of the mulch I use dry banana uh, peels as well eggshells just to make sure they do keep the you know the soil fertilize as well keep the humidity uh, so onions need a lot of humidity so they can grow very fast and you know it's a great source of nutrition you can see my previous videos how to use the eggshells as well the bananas peels to turn them in a wonderful fertilizer or how to enrich uh, the soil so as you see today after I hydrated very well this uh, banana uh, this uh, you know onion stamp I'll go ahead and put it on the soil do not put it very deep a uh, half inch as you're gonna see it's gonna come like this and then I have all over you see over here as well I have another one and over here I have another one so all this pot and you see they're coming stamps coming out all this pot is filled I'm gonna put another one uh, just make sure you put them a uh, half inch difference between each other so uh, they have enough space and the root can get developed after you you know put the uh, bottom of the onion or whatever you want to call it uh, is uh, hydrated make sure you put it on the pot and then add a lot of water uh, what I'm gonna use today I'm gonna use some of my banana peel tea fertilizer is wonderful I just make sure you know you put one part of uh, the banana tea and seven part of water you can see the video on my uh, channel is uh, you will never throw the banana away it actually says out to turn the banana peels in a wonderful fertilizer it's really good though really light uh, it, I'll put a lot of humidity at this period um, even though I, we are in the Midwest so it's a little bit cold still the temperature but onions can survive perfectly and you see all over my plants you can see the small pieces of onion coming out so uh, in about a week or so all this uh, pod will be green and onions all have fresh onions all summer uh, that's what I do I mean I use whatever uh, waste I generate at home and how can I enrich them reuse them recycle them so it's good for mother nature is a good workout uh, is a hobby uh, whatever you can call it and actually you can get a good uh, healthy vegetables that you can enjoy so I hope you enjoy this video and then I'll do a video on later on to see how this wonderful green onions are turning on they are sporting so it's almost time in two weeks or so they'll be ready uh, I use them for salads and uh, seasoning and a lot of things so I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day